Hello, I'm Matthew or F. Alec you. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new to this channel, I'm a man of God, called by God, sent by the Lord Jesus Christ and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. You can go through other messages after listening to this to hear other teachings and other revelations I've shared which have been given by God and God is faithful they always come to pass glory be to God today I'll be sharing with you what the Lord shared with me about this new variant out there Omicron and after sharing it I would be praying I'll be praying for your protection praying for your covering glory be to God this revelation was quite intense and I went into the vision early hours on the 2nd of December and I woke up from it 3 a.m. prompt. And when God does that, he shows me it's really important. In the vision, I saw a massive auditorium. And in the auditorium, it was like a conf major conference center, but around the reception area, so because it was very eye massive. And I entered into it, and then I saw a well notable a uh, man of God in there as well, which is based in South Africa. It's, it's quite big in South Africa. And we came inside the auditorium and it was in an ace. It was running down there and I was with him. We were coming out. And the setting was like there was about to be an explosion. There was a bomb in there. So we were trying to speak to the uh, people on the counter and order steward around the auditorium around the place to let them know there's about to be an explosion however there was a circular music being played around the surround of the building and this was blocking lots of people's ear from listening or hearing anyway by the time we approached to try to switch off that music uh, the other prophet that was with me in that revelation was very aggressive and didn't even get to go there and what happened to him is he was arrested and it took him out of the building so he was arrested and god forbid i don't pray he's arrested and anyway he was taken out of the building so he was arrested then suddenly i saw other men of god in there but suddenly i saw people coming out from the auditorium well dressed in stretchers and they were carrying them out on in stretchers the, you know, and they were well dressed, but carrying out in stretches, and loads keep passing and passing and passing. I, I, I was there, I was thinking, but this is meant to be an explosion. There's been no explosion, there's been no, uh, all the body was intact, everyone was still in the normal clothes. So, where's the bomb? Where's the explosion? Then I went off from the vision. Then I spoke to the Holy Spirit, I prayed to the Holy Spirit, I spoke to him. I said, what is this, Father? What does this revelation mean? What is this vision about? There was meant to be an explosion, a bomb, there was nothing. But why are people coming out on stretches? And he said, that variant being released, Omicron, is a silent bomb from the pit of hell, from the kingdom of darkness, from the enemy. And we've got to speak forth and warn people about it. So, out of obedience, I'm doing this. When God shows that to me, is significant. You know, there's a passage in the scripture. Proverbs 22, 3, it said, A wise man sees a danger and hides himself from it. But it said, the simple... Pass it on and keep going, and eventually what will happen? The simple will fall into the trap. God has called me as an end time watchman. So necessity is upon me to share these things, to keep you aware. This variant is real. Stop the ignorant. But God is showing us so we can be aware and we can overcome it. Glory be to God. And what should we do? My advice to you is do all that you can to protect yourself from it. And trust in God that it will protect you. So whatsoever you need to do, if you know you're going to a crowded place and you need to put on your face mask, 
If that's how you can protect yourself, do it. If you've got iron sanitizer your hands, do it. When you've done all you can do, then God would protect you as well. Don't be ignorant. Even Jesus, in the scripture, the few times it was in the midst of danger and people wanted to attack him. What does he do? He escaped from them. He didn't stay and say, I'm the son of God. I can do this. I can do that. No, then you're testing God. So when God releases visions like this to one his people, he's trying to protect them. Even in the scripture, during the time God released the plagues at Egypt before the children of Israel was delivered out, he gave them an instruction when the final plague was coming. I remember in the scripture, Jesus did say there will be pestilences. These are signs. These are signs of the hen times. Going back again, God gave the Israelites instructions. He told them to stay in their house, shut the door and put up blood of the lamb that was slaughtered across the door. But now I'll take this even into a next level. He said they should stay in the house. Okay. Your body is a temple of God. Your body is your physical house. The real you is the spirit inside your body. So I'll tell you, stay in the spirit, in your body, in your house. Stay in the spirit, in your house. Be in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. I pray for eye sensitivity from the leading of the Holy Spirit. Where you're not meant to be, you'll not be there in the name of Jesus. The Lord will order you step in the name of Jesus. That silent bomb from the pit of hell, that virus, that Omicron would not find you. It would not find your loved ones. It would not find your family. It would not find your children. All your genuine divine connection will be protected of it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare and decree. We're approaching the end of the year. That is the last month of the year. Any harvest of lost or death, the enemy has been trying to harvest. You will not be part of them in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus covers your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No sickness. No devil. No pestilence. No virus. Would kill you. In the name of Jesus. The presence of God will cover you. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. I trust you're blessed by this. And I would ask you to kindly share this with others so they can receive these blessings, so they can escape the wrath of the devil with this variance being introduced from the pits of hell. And we need to understand the government are spending billions and millions in finding medications to these issues or vaccines and other means, but the more they try, the more this virus has been mutated. And the truth about this is the problem is the sin in the land. There's so much sins in the land. And what gives the enemy strength to release silent bombs like this? One sins to fear the more fear in the atmosphere the more sins in the atmosphere gives the enemy a free show and God would guide you 
and protect you in the name of Jesus. And I trust you will truly share this to Hava so they can understand what's going on and they can partake all the blessings I've just released for divine protection and divine covering from every evil pestilences in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare. Amen. Stay blessed.